Hallelujah! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah! On this glorious, glorious morning, we welcome you to this virtual service. It's the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Saviour, the pinnacle of the Christian year. This is the most important day in the Christian year. And as a result, there are going to be differences, changes in our service. We move from here to the lighting of the Easter candle, which will be a central symbol in our services from now right up until Pentecost. Join us wherever you may find yourselves in this wonderful celebration. Dear friends in Christ, on this joyous morning, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, we celebrate that victory in word and sacrament as Christ renews our faith and hope and gives us a share in his victory over death and in his eternal life with the Father. Father, we share in the light of your glory through your Son, the light of the world. Bless this candle and inflame us with new hope. Purify our minds by this Easter celebration and bring us to the feast of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. All times belong to him and all ages to him be glory, power through every age forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Christ our light. Let us confess our sins, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with our neighbour. And so we say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you 
in newness of life to the glory of your name. Know that by his resurrection Jesus has broken the power of sin and death and you are released from your sins. Rejoice in that. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We join together in the Easter Collect. Lord Jesus Christ, you transform the tomb of death into the womb of new life. Make us joyful witnesses of this good news, that all creation may be redeemed, restored and reconciled. For you live and reign in the unity of the blessed Trinity, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel of Mark, from chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early, on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in white, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised, and he is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him just as he told you. And so they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ God. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable before you, Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. We meet on resurrection morning. And today we remember these strange events of many years ago. But we are not just called to remember them. I need to hasten to say we are called to find meaning for this in 2021. It will be easier for me to create drama around the resurrection and the mystery of a missing body and perhaps a body running around all over town more than 2,000 years ago as opposed to what that would mean to you and I today. And I find meaning first and foremost in the story of the women from whom we know the resurrection, because we don't know the resurrection from the gospel writers, but from these women. That is important for us to take note. And as these women rise up early in the morning, we are told they are on their way to the tomb, and obviously they are whispering to each other and Ruth, doing something possibly that was unusual for them to be doing. And what's interesting is that they are not accompanied by any male figure. This too would have been strange. And still, so they start saying something that reminds us of what men can do. They say to each other, now that we are on the way there, but you know what happened on Friday? 
they put a massive rock to close him in. Who's going to move it for us? But here's the interesting thing according to Mark. They kept on walking. They were aware that where they were going was possibly something that was going to inhibit them from doing what they wanted to do. Yet, they kept on walking. And as I always say to those of you who will be drinking after Easter, this is your Johnny Walker moment. Keep on walking. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We seem to be told by these women what we think is the challenge. But we need to resolve that the resurrection story reminds us to remain hopeful even when we know that where we are going, it looks dark, it looks heavy, and there is no solution. But because we know that we are doing what we are doing in responding to the Jesus story, we keep on walking. It doesn't matter in that moment who's absent. Perhaps it's the rector who's absent. Perhaps it's the bishop who's absent. It could even be our spiritual guide. But because we are going to a place with these women who are very aware of their own limitations, they do not overestimate their abilities. They know their limitations, but that doesn't stop them. Because resurrection is about hope. The hope we find in the story of the man Jesus of Nazareth who beat death so that you and I can be hopeful that no matter how tough it looks where we are going, we shall keep on walking. We are not stopping here and saying, guys, it's so tough, what do we do? We are not stopping here and saying our lives are so miserable. But with these women, the very first apostles of Jesus, these women, the very first witnesses of the resurrection, these women refused to stop simply because there was a hindrance where they were going. I want us to be encouraged by their hope because when they got there, it is to them that the news was given that actually Jesus is not here anymore. And guess what? The stone had been rolled away. I want to believe that the rolling of the stone is not simply a dramatization of the resurrection, but an affirmation of these women's faith. That in walking and Pursuing whatever it is they wanted to do, it is that which made it necessary for the rock to move away. It's not just about Jesus walking out. It's a reflection of these women. That they still had to be witnesses and see right inside. And in they experience this glorious, glorious moment. To which now they have to be the ones to tell Peter, isn't it interesting that we always remember Peter? But we do not remember what these women have done for us in this story. I'm encouraged in 2021 with all the challenges that we have experienced. I'm encouraged to keep on walking, to keep on going forward because we know and we have the advantage of knowing that in actual fact, the stone will be rolled away. That in actual fact, Jesus is risen from the dead. That in actual fact, he wants to meet with us. So we keep on. We keep on. No matter how discouraged we feel. Like these women that had lost their beloved friend Jesus. So many losses have been experienced. So many challenges have come our way. Some of these say to us, quit. But today I say to you, keep on walking. Amen. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless bay, this gift of love gift of and righteousness, Scorned by the ones he came to save Till on that cross as Jesus died The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin, 
on him was laid Pure in the death of Christ I live There in the ground his body lay Light of the world by darkness lay and bursting forth in glorious day Up from the grave he rose again And as he stands in victory Since curse has lost its grip on me For I am his and he is mine with the precious blood of Christ. Father, we come humbled. We have walked the path to the cross with Jesus. We have witnessed his agony and abandonment. We have felt the despair of those who followed him. And as we made that journey, we knew beyond a doubt that he understands. He understands our pain, our loneliness, our losses, our fears, our betrayals. But today, Father, today, we give thanks for the glorious hope that the resurrection gives us. Draw us towards our own resurrection. Grow our hope in the transforming power of the Spirit. That though we are in pain, yet there is hope. Though we are lonely, yet there is hope. Though we are afraid, yet there is hope. Thank you for this lesson, that death never has the last word. Amen. The Lord is here. Christ's Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to offer thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent in these last times as Saviour and Redeemer, and the messenger of your will, he is your word, 
inseparable from you, through whom you made all things, and in whom you take delight. You sent him from heaven into the virgin's womb, where he was conceived and took flesh. Born of the virgin, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was revealed as your son. In fulfilment of your will, he stretched out his hands in suffering and so brought release to those who place their trust in you. And so he won for you a holy people. He freely accepted the death to which he was handed over in order to destroy death and shatter the chains of the evil one, to trample underfoot the powers of hell and to lead the righteous into light, to fix the boundaries of death and to manifest the resurrection. On the night when he was together with his friends, he took bread, gave thanks to you, and broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this to remember me. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this to remember me. Remembering, therefore, his death and resurrection, we set before you this bread and this cup, thankful that you have counted us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you as your priestly people. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church. Gather into one all who share in these holy mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit and confirming their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ. Through him, all glory and honour are yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. As Christ has taught us, we are bold to sing. The bread which we break, is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. We have gathered in the name of Jesus, our Saviour and living Lord. We recall how Jesus made himself known to his friends in the breaking of the bread, and how their hearts were set ablaze as they talked and communed with him. 
May our hearts rejoice and our tongues be filled with praise as we come to meet him here. Receive these holy gifts wherever you may be and rejoice in the risen Christ. Amen. I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face, to see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise on. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His mercy endures forever. Lord, you have nourished us with your Easter sacrament. Fill us with your spirit and make us one in peace and love. Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit, to live and work to your praise and glory. May Christ, who out of defeat brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life. And the blessing of the Eternal Father, the risen Son, and the empowering Spirit rest upon you, that you may be a blessing to the world. Amen. Now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Life now perfected in Jesus the Son. Alleluia. 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 Now in our presence the Lord will appear. Shine in the faces of all of us here. Fill us with joy and cast out all our fear. Alleluia. Splendor shall ring. Alleluia. 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 See how salvation for all has been won. Up from the grave a new life has begun. Life now perfected in Jesus the Son. Alleluia. Alleluia.